Hi everyone and welcome to IJNet's tutorial on how to use Juxtapose.js. Juxtapose.js is a new tool created at Northwestern University's Night Lab. It was made by Alex Duner, who is a student fellow at the Night Lab. Duner was just a freshman when he created this lightweight image comparison tool. And as you can see here, you'll be able to compare photos as well as GIFs because GIFs are images too. So when we come down here to the slider, you'll see that there's a URL where the left image will be and a URL where the right image should be. This means that you need to host your images on a server or on Flickr. So we're going to use Flickr and we're going to copy the URL of the image that we want on the left side. We'll paste that URL right here and then we'll type the date. This is IJNet's old site, which we stopped using in September 2014. Now we're going to go back to Flickr and get our image that we want on the right hand side. We'll copy the URL again, go back to Juxtapose and paste it on the right hand side. Again, we stopped using the old IJNet in September 2014 because we started using the new one. So you'll see here in the middle that there is a slider. This means that we can adjust how the user will see the image comparison tool. To adjust the slider percentage, we can try 38% and see what it looks like. Uh, that looks okay, but let's try 36%. That looks better. So again, we'll update the preview. And now we want to publish it to IJNet. So we're going to copy both of these codes. Let's start with the first one. We'll copy it and put it into our post. And now we'll go back and we'll copy the second code. We want this code to be as low as possible to the post. So this should be the last thing that you put into your post. Uh, since this post doesn't have any other text to it, it's okay just to put it right after the original picture. So now we'll come down and we'll save it. And then we can look at the old IJNet compared to the new IJNet. And there you have it. There's our juxtaposition for the day.